Hi everyone, let's solve uh, today's daily challenge that is zigzag conversion. So in this question, we are given a string and it is written in a zigzag pattern on a given number of rows like this, right? And then what we are doing is we are uh, taking the first row of it and then after the first row, we are appending the second row and to that second row, we are appending this third row. So we get a string like this and that is what we have to return. So we have to write a function in which it will be taking a string and then it will be creating such a pattern a zigzag kind of a pattern out of it and then we will consider all of its rows right and uh, we have to simply return a pattern that we will be obtaining after reading this pattern row by row so let's understand uh, what the zigzag pattern in this question means so in this question the zigzag pattern that they are considering is like this right so we will have something like this so this is the zigzag pattern that they are considering. So let's uh, try to understand it for n is equal to 3, what this zigzag pattern is. So when n is equal to 3, we will be having 0, 1, 2, 3 rows, right? And within these 3 rows, we have to form this zigzag pattern. So how will we forming this zigzag pattern? So we will consider P, A, Y along this and then we have to fill this diagonal. So we will fill P here, right? And then we will uh, fill out A, L, I. Then again, we have the diagonal. So we will put S here. And then we will consider H, I and R. And then we will have um, I here and N here and G here. Right. So this is the zigzag pattern that will be forming. Okay. Now what we have to do? We have to take... We have to take its rows, right? So we will take P, A, H, N. Then we have to take this A, P, L, S, I, I and G. And then we have to consider the third row and we have to append it to our resultant string. So this is what we have to return, right? So now um, let's do it for N is equal to 4. So that things will be more clear to you. Now we'll do it for n is equal to 4. Now our n is 4. Okay. So how do we have to form this exact pattern? We have to form this exact pattern like this. Okay. So first we'll place. So we have 4 rows here. 0, 1, 2 and 3. So we'll place P, A, Y and P here and then we will have A, L along the diagonal. Then we will have I, S, H and I and then we will have R and I here and N and G here. Right. So this is the pattern that we will be forming and then what do we have to do? We have to take row wise character so first we will have p i n then we will have a l s i g then we will have y a h r and then we will have p and i so this is the resultant string and that is what we have to return so i hope you uh, you are clear with the zigzag pattern that we are considering in this question so let's see how we will solve it so uh, let's see how will we get the first row if you try to evaluate that, how will we get the first row? So we have P, right? So how many characters do we have to skip to get to I, right? So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, right? So the sixth character we have to take, right? Then again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 character we have taken. From here, how many uh, steps do we have to take? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So we will get n, right? So this is how we will get the first row, right? Let's see for second row. For second row, if we check. For second row, what we'll be doing? We'll again be doing the same thing. We'll come to A now. And from A, how many steps do we have to take? So if we take uh, 6 steps, where will we reach? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Right. So at the sixth step, we have S. Right. Then after S, 1, 2, 3, 
4, 5 and 6. We get G. But what about L and I? They are also in this row, right? And we have to consider them. So how can we get L and I? So let's say from A, how many steps do we have to take? So we have to take 1, 2, 3 and 4. So at the fourth step, we will be getting L, right? And similarly from S, at the 1, 2, 3 and fourth step, we will be getting I. So what did we do? So first of all, uh, so how will we get six steps, right? So if I just do four minus one into two, is it equal? It is equal to six, right? Similarly, for L and I, if I subtract six minus two, what do I get? Four. So we are considering four steps for it, right? Now let's move on to the third row. For the third row, we are at Y here, right? So we are at Y. From Y, if I take six steps, where will we reach? One, two, three, four, five and six. We will come at H, right? And after that, we don't have anything here. So we will not be getting anything. We will be going out of the bounds of the length of the string, right? So we will get Y, H. How to get A and R? So from Y, it is at a distance of one and two. And from H, R is at a distance of one and two. So what are we doing now? We are doing six minus four. That is two, right? We are also doing this along with the six steps for each and every row for each and every character along with the six steps we are also taking the numbers at four sorry the num characters at a uh, fourth and second steps right we are also considering these so uh, can we generalize it so if i do six minus two into that particular row that is one here so I will get 4 for the first row. Similarly, if I do for the second row, what will I get? I will get 2 here, right? Because for the second row, i is equal to 2. So I hope the pattern is clear to you now, right? So what we'll be doing? We will be taking the number of rows minus 1 into 2. These many steps and then we will be skipping it. So for first and the last row, you can see that we can simply get the whole row by taking 6 steps at a time right so p then six steps i then after six steps we get n so our first row is complete similarly for the last row what do we have to do because we don't have any diagonal characters here right we don't have any diagonal characters so we can simply do six steps for the first and the last row only for the middle rows we also have to consider characters at these steps also right so i hope the um, logic of the problem is clear to you and the pattern is also clear to you so let's quickly code it out so what do we have to do? First of all, uh, so there will be a base case and that base case is that if uh, the number of rows given to us is one, in that case, we simply have to return this string because in that case, we will not be able to form any zigzag pattern. So if num rows is one, right, then we have to simply return this string s. Now, what if this uh, num row is not 1, then we have to traverse in these rows, right? As we saw, we'll be going from uh, this row, this row, this row, and this row, right? For four, all the four rows, we will be traversing. So, we'll be traversing in i is equal to 0, i less than num rows, right? The number of rows and i plus <clears> plus. <throat> now, let's also make this string in which we'll be appending everything. Uh, let's call it result right and uh, let's initialize it to null and also we have to consider the number of jumps that we will be doing so the number of jumps right or the number of steps that we will be skipping are num rows minus one into two right so these are the number of jumps so after this so for each and every row what do we have to do we have to take these many jumps. So let's also uh, create a loop for that. So we'll be going from j is equal to i, that particular index, to j less than the size of the string. And then what we'll be doing? We'll be taking jumps number of steps, right? And that is what we'll be including in our resultant string. So we will add jumps here. Now, we have to add the characters at this particular jump, right? So, it will be 
inside of j only right so we will take s of j here but we also saw that for first and the last row it is okay right but for the middle rows right as we saw for the middle rows we also have to consider the characters at the jumps minus 2 into that particular row number we also have to consider these diagonal elements right so for these diagonal elements this is what we'll be doing so let's see so first we will check if we are in middle rows right if i is uh, greater than 0 and less than num rows minus rows minus 1 right and also and also this particular index that we are considering that is 6 minus 2 into i if it, it is also in bound that is it is less than it is less than the number of uh, jumps sorry the number of uh, the size of the string right so j plus jumps minus uh, it will be 2 into that particular row that we are at if it is less than the size of the string only then what do we have to do we have to add this particular index also in our resultant string right so that will be this particular index only 2 into i right so what this will do is for uh, for this row if we consider from a we also have to consider the fourth step right 1 2 3 4 so we also have to consider l so along with a after this we it will append at the fourth step and then it will append the next character which is at sixth step and then again from here it will go here and it will append this i which is at the fourth step and then it will also append the g that is at the sixth step so this is how it will be working and after this loop we will simply return the string so let's run it right so it's accepted let's quickly submit it so that's how um, you have to solve this problem